Well, welcome to the farm. My name is Ben Van Roekel. I am a 29-year-old second-generation farmer. We farm down in southern Iowa. I run a YouTube channel called The Iowan Farmer. I farm with my father and our hired hand, Andrew. Uh, my name is Scott Van Roekel, and where we're at is down in south-central Iowa by a uh, little town called Plano. My name is Andrew Hancocks, and I work for Scott and Ben, the Iowan farmer. And uh, this will be my third harvest with them. I started three years ago in the spring, actually. But I have anything from tillage to uh, running the grain cart, driving the semis. On the farm, we have a 24 row 3800 corn planter. We plant corn with it. Uh, we also have a 12 24 split row planter, it's a 3600 model. Uh, the cart behind us is the 1421 that we are demoing with Kinsey this year for the YouTube channel. Uh, we have also a 1040 grain cart row crop and then on top of that we have a Kinsey repowered 8630 and I actually have a 1500 cultivator sitting in the tree line. Uh, this is an F1 car. The 1040 is probably your Ford Taurus. <laughs> um, it's so better than a Taurus. Yeah, okay, it's a very nice Ford Taurus, I you know, but <laughs> so uh, okay, they're both Corvettes. This just happens to be the new Corvette, and that one's maybe the little older generation Corvette. Um, comparison, this year the 1040 grain cart's been a fantastic grain cart for us. Uh, I, I've never had to work on the grain cart at all. It's worked. It's been bulletproof uh, this year. We've been happy to demo this 1421 grain cart. We're blessed down here in Southern Iowa this year with a really great corn crop. Uh, we were worried about the possibility of keeping up with the amount of grain that we're shelling. With putting this grain cart to use this year, our combine has not had a sit. With the extra capacity that we have, the 750 bushel unloads rates, the combine, even when it's shelling as much corn as it is, has never had to sit. So we're pushing out more bushels in a day than we ever have, and the only thing that's changed in our operation is the grain cart that's sitting behind it. I, I love that cart. It's I love how narrow it is for going down the road. I love the height of it. It's not so tall. I think the tractor is taller than the cart, or at least the swirly lights on top, so you don't have to worry about catching power lines or nothing. I like the auger coming forward off the front of the cart. That is a huge thing to me. I love the scales. Uh, there's nothing that i found I don't like. Nine times out of ten, I no-till beans the next year into the stocks, and I love the tracks on the cart because it's significantly less compaction, whether you're no-tilling or whether you're going to till it. But a lot of guys got to go in there, try and till it to get rid of the compaction that they put in there hauling their grain out. Well, with the cart and the big tracks, it was like we're getting a whole lot less compaction and we're having a dry fall, having a great fall. So we're not damaging the field at all with the combine, not damaging the field at all with the cart and, and, and the tractor. And so it looks like 2022 will be a no-till year for us again, our beans at least on our corn stocks. So, and the scale's neat too because it's always been uh that looks about right you know now with the scale we can measure what we're putting on our semis because we know what our semis weigh empty and you just got to put that put the uh, corresponding amount of grain right off the scale in the semi and and uh, then you wouldn't have to fib to the dot boy it was like yeah i do what i had on <laughs> Maintenance is really easy. You look at the bogey wheels every single day to make sure that there's oil in all the bogey wheels. They have clear side glasses. And then once a week, you hit the grease search. There's six grease searches on the tracks. There's one on top of the auger, and then there's a grease bank on the side of the transfer box. It took Yesterday I did it, and it took probably less than five minutes to pull maintenance on this grain cart. Maintenance is simple. Kinsey has a brand, obviously blue. Uh, planters, grain carts, but as a company, uh, we've been familiar with them there my entire life. Uh, used to drive by it all the time on Interstate 80 going past Williamsburg. Uh, got to see the plant grow over the years, but as I got to use the products during my farming career, we learned that Kinsey is a family owned company, uh, a very innovative company. The, far the owners are farmers, uh, they put their customers first. 
So when I think Kinsey, I think of top of the line equipment that comes from an independent company.